So the capture cord, uh, the capture card, still not working. Of course, gotta go. Got, gotta go get a new one. Apparently, and I don't even have any money, so I'm gonna have to steal one off of somebody. I'm gonna have to go battle a friend for one. We can't go in there because that's a white door. We don't have a white gun. Our gun is orange. But it opens blue doors. It doesn't open orange doors. It opens blue doors. Look, I, I've I've lost function with my remote. Oh god. I'm starting to hate this, this day. Oh, that's dark either. We already scanned that, right? Oh god, they just shot at us through a window. Wait, is that guy a new enemy? No, he's not. Alright, well, I guess he's dying. <laughs> You're not a new enemy? Okay, well, he would have died anyways, if he, even if he wasn't. Oh god, it's us! What is it? What do we want? Oh, by the way, we have some really freaky looking toes. Did you see that? Um, I'm, I'm losing control over this again. What is this? I need some unique energy, guys. Cycle 7. <laughs> Alright, well, we're just gonna read this out of order, apparently. Another disaster. The transport bringing our reinforcements and supplies has been shot down. It was engaged in order by a Federation vessel, which has landed near the alien temple. It's only a matter of time before the Marines attack. Survivors from our ship have made their way to our base. Here we shall make our stand. Another enemy. First the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, and now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Perhaps fate will smile upon us before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. So they're already losing. Alright, well, actually fate did smile upon them. Um, I, I guess they just haven't got the news yet, but it's already dropping frames. It only lasted a minute this time. You stupid crap piece of capture, <laughs> you piece of crap capture card work, gosh darn you. I'm just going to end the video here, because it's not even stopping here now that there's no animations happening. Hey everybody, it's Moa Crossing, and we are back for more. Let's play Metroid Prime. Got some, uh, got some drink here. Standard fares. Uh, life water. Pretty good, actually. Uh, shameless, <laughs> sh shameless pl product placement, shameless, uh, unlicensed product placement for the win. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we saw our dark evil twin, uh, and now we scan some more stuff. <laughs> we scan every, oh, no, I, I guess that's important, but I was hoping that would give me more log entries. Now, if I'm correct, we can just... D n no. We, we can't just burst through a window. Because uh, we have to go around so that it'll load enemies into existence. Or not. Either way is good with me, as long as there are no enemies being loaded into existence. Where were those blast doors again? Uh, they were over here. I really should pull the computer closer so I can see it, but I decided not to. Oh god! Ah! Ah. I give up! Ah. Ah, humility cluster. Yeah, real, real humi- uh, real humble turrets here. Uh, that's not even the same. Humility. Yeah, that's it, right? I don't know, but Jar Jar Binks would bear this honor with more humility and respect. Uh, quoting Jar Jar now. I have no shame! Oh god. C come back here! Well, they they ran away. Oh well, right? You can just give up this. Wait a second. You saw that, didn't you? I I saw it too. Um, I'm in a pool. Do you see that? There's water effects in this game. I think they were in the first one, but they might not have been as good as they are. And this one, there it is. The evil to end all evils, and it's already here. This is a Metroid, and it's been shot. They wanted it alive after they were done shooting it. Um. Nope, I can't. I can't free him. Which is good. <laughs> Had I freed him, I would have panicked and probably would have been killed instantly. Uh, there's a lot of these black doors that shoot our bullets back at us, and I believe. Uh, well, I know for a fact you can get shot with your own bullets from the doors, but I think that you couldn't do that in the first Metroid Prime. But I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. It's 
It's been so long since we played that. <laughs> you know, like about a year. I don't remember the details. All I remember is it's a great game. We're currently on a lift. Don't worry, I, I settled it down at the, somewhere at around 186 frames. I'd hope that by clearing space on my computer, the capture card would have worked better. That doesn't even make any sense. I, I, oh, well, I just scanned a Metroid. It's a Talon Metroid. I'm taking a Talon forward, Talon. It's the same. It's just <laughs> I'm scanning this. That's in a different room through through a, uh, a window. Uh, oh crap! I probably should have kept reading that. The hunter, and then press two. Because we want to read this. Samus Rand, the accursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. <gasps> she does not seek our destruction, but our Phazen. With each of her aid, she steals Phazen or only killing those who attempt to deny her. What she needs it for, we do not know. That doesn't sound like us, because since we arrived here, all we did was investigate dead bodies that were killed by not you, but they were chasing you. The mystery thickens, but, I mean, we already know... I mean, seriously, we encounter our evil twin. We know who it is. <laughs> Bill's science team suspects she requires it to power her new armor suit. Uh, it's dark and scarlet. It is equipped with strange new weapons. The troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. It sounds like something evil's going on here. But, yeah, you know, this video is not going to play back to you guys. Uh. I'm just making noises. I don't know why this thing is. Wait, what does that say? This is something. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> her, her. Just said scene detection. Okay. I jumped up and down a bit. But then. Almost lost connection with the sensor bar. Uh, there's more guys here. More Metroids. I have a feeling they're gonna break out eventually. It wouldn't be a Metroid game without the actual Metroids. Oh man, my health is low. Which isn't good. We don't want low health. Curl up into a Morph Ball. Get in the hole. Activate the hole. I don't even know what's going on here. How this is. I don't even know if they consider this like transit of some kind. I don't know why that was even remotely necessary to get through here. Why couldn't they just have a door? But I guess crazy mechanisms are cool. Cra crazy pointless mechanisms. Um, that's not a guy there. I know there's a guy in here actually, and I know there's a puzzle that we're gonna do with. With those, it's not really a puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, scan, scanny things. Uh, we gotta scan. <laughs> Pirate arrow trooper. Gee, you couldn't figure out from the fact that they're flying. These guys are just like their Metro Prime One cousins, just uh, a bit different in design, which means they're no longer just like them. Did I stop making sense a while ago? Okay, that thing's glowing. We're gonna want this, uh... Or can we scan this? Do we have to? This is this... This large energy unit. We'll want that. That's that's pretty good, actually. We we need those, uh, whenever they're available. As you see, the puzzle music is playing. It's different than the first, uh, first Metroid Prime's puzzle music. Uh, but it seems to me that there are not any lore entries in, in this room. Uh, but this is going to be, like, the only area that we're gonna get space pirate lore entries. Well, actually, as you can see, there's a green door up there. Now, we need to get across. So that, that sends them all up. Uh, no, we have to go across the hall. 
I'm slowly remember I'm remembering this puzzle right now as we speak, but I remember how to do it. So we'll want to what does this do again? This one? That raises them up. Okay. Now that's the door over hang on, let me just engage the map. Okay, so the door is on our left. Uh, so we're, we're gonna want this one at full. This one here, this beta power rack, uh, storage rack. Right, can we drop that down too? Yeah, we're gonna want that down too. I completely forgot how you do this again. Uh, that, I think that's right. This one needs to be dropped one. Okay, I think that's. Oh no no. Then then we drop all three on this one. That that should be right. That's just, that must be it. The solution I'm looking for. But now you see it. jump fail. Jump fail again. Okay, there we go. Either way, for all that that was worth, we got an energy tank. That's that's why you wanted to do that that way. Now we're at three three energy tanks out of I believe. I think. Now we're just gonna want to reverse this, uh, so we're gonna raise this twice. Uh, that, yeah, that one stays the same. And, and then this one, we're just gonna uh, drop. So yeah, that, that's how you know you get to the door, it'll play a little tune. So yeah, the, to get the energy tank, you just have to basically reverse the door. Or vice versa, uh, if you got the energy tank first, reverse what you did for the energy tank. Uh, and there's a green door over there, and we'll get to that later, but for now we get to go through this really, really suggestive looking t uh, tunnel. With this really disgusting fluid in it. Um, okay, what, what are we looking at here? Electric fences. Alright. Now, this is a rolly puzzle, so I'm pretty sure there's something hidden in here. Something of some kind of importance. Ow, 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 no, that's not good. Don't worry, we, we made it over. We defied the traps. I'm about to drink some water. The thing about recording the Wii is you always have to pause uh, if you use a capture card like I do, because uh, it won't. When you disconnect, that causes frame drop. Uh, because like the it gets all it gets really weird when you disconnect the Wiimote from its like sensor bar so I always have to pause when I want to do something else uh, entering through here though we get a save station there's nothing more welcome than a save station ever oh and we get more lore new lore security breach uh oh that sounds like what happened when they were attacked by the Metro Prime the Dark Hunter teleports into the base at will. Our security has proven next to useless against her. Your security proves next to useless against anything, actually. Her latest raid was disastrous. Not only did we lose more phase into her, but she crippled... Uh, crap, I just did not read that at all. Uh, 
Wait. <laughs> Shut up, I want your beacon. Uh, but she also crippled the stealth field generator with her strange new weapons. We are exposed. Until the replacement generator arrives, we'll be vulnerable to scans and detection. Our presence here is still minimal. Should the Federation find us, we will be unable to defend our position. Fortunately, Aether is on the fringe of the Federation space. With luck, we will have the stealth field back in effect before being detected. Alright, now, what's this beacon all about? Weapon is in space, pirate hands. Oh no! Recover Luminoth weapon. It's in storage D. Now, as it is, we have yet to uncover storages A through C, I believe. Uh, probably we have, but I'm just trying to think of them as space pirate basins, maybe, and I'm going about this all wrong. <laughs> Oh god, we've been doing this for 13 minutes. Good thing we reached a save station. We're gonna get all scanned up, uh, saved, because that's good. And I'm gonna head over to the map menu. And we're gonna continue on our way in the next episode, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.